Hey everybody, Ethan here with Standing Stone and Pro Staff for DT Systems. We've got Hex here to give you a pro tip preparing for this year's hunting season. I hope, folks, that you're already into it, but if you're not, the key and the most important thing that you need to be remembering is pad conditioning. It's not lung conditioning, that's important, but the most important thing is pad conditioning. You gotta think about pad conditioning similar to our feet, okay? If you get a brand new pair of boots, you slap them on, you go and hit the field, walk eight, 10, 15 miles, whatever it may be on that opening weekend, you're gonna have blisters, you're gonna be sore. We don't want that to happen to these guys because that takes a long time to feel better. They could struggle, they may even have to lay off the rest of the trip. You need to condition pads and one of the best ways to do that is different surfaces. If you've been doing any conditioning, as ah, we're not gonna say if, you all have been getting your dogs ready for the hunting season. You've probably been running in grass at parks or maybe taking it to a local um, DNR area or something to that effect, but that's grass and dirt. It's not as tough as what it, things can be if you run into, depending on what part of the country you are, or just the workload you're gonna be asking out of his paws. So what we've been doing with Hex, now that he is free and clear after his surgery, is we've started roading him, okay? Roading is our process, which is essentially a fancy term for, we put a harness on him and we run him on a gravel road which is our driveway. We've got a, a safe, no traffic situation, and we utilize gravel and sand to help toughen their pads. Now, you may be thinking, I don't have access to gravel and sand. Ethan, what can I do as an alternative? Concrete is also a really good option. Just make sure that you yourself can put your hand on the concrete and not feel like it's burning you. We still have some hot temperatures coming out of the summer here. Now, if you're looking at a roading option, you can do this with a four-wheeler. I can show you that setup. Or you can even utilize this, and we have a lot of folks send us in. They make a roading-type rig for a bicycle if you are in town. We're going to put this over his head. This is a very simple harness. And then it's going to make um, these straps go underneath. And then easy peasy, it buckles on this side. You have buckles on both sides that allow you to kind of even this process out but you wanna be able to just about put your hand in there. It doesn't need to be super tight. These are available at standingstonesupply.com. These are the harnesses, roading harnesses that we have made and use. Um, you get your dog used to this process, okay. You can hook them up to a leash, apply a little bit of pressure. It's a good thing for do like dogs enjoy, excuse me, dogs enjoy pulling. And this is something that typically is pretty easy for dogs to learn, but they do need a second to start walking and feel the pressure points that this harness creates. They just feel where, where it hits them and get used to that. Once you've got that, you can either, like say, hook them up with a bike or you can like use a setup like I have here, get an extension bar out away from your four-wheeler and then use a stretchy style to take some of that impact off their body. Here, bud. And then you clip in here and then you're gonna go approximately six to 10 miles an hour, depending on your dog, making sure that they're staying more in a pacing type pace. They're staying with you, not constantly digging and not full on sprint. This is a marathon type deal. And again, key thing here is we're toughening pads. The last thing that we're gonna use is a pad toughening spray. We use Tough Foot. Um, and you're just going to come in here after your roading sessions, uh, spray a couple sprays on the bottom of each of their pads and you'll see it get just a little bit damp. That just says you have full coverage. This stuff will help to toughen and get pads prepared. You can even use it on yourself for your pads. Um, all of that being said, pads are the most important thing to condition heading into hunting season. I hope this tip helps, guys. I'm the guy with the pink gun. This is Hex. We'll see you in the next video.